Okay. Here we go. In comparing the high point to the star BM, they're both eight round magazines, single stack. I had a failure to feed, which I had to assist forward in the two mags in the high point only once. In the Star BM, I also had a failure to feed, but this is the first time I've used this weapon. So you'll see in the video a couple of times where it failed to fire. That was operator error. Now, with my Uberti, changing out the wolves to the wolf springs helped some. If you don't have the trigger pulled all the way back, this retractable firing pin does not connect with the primers, thus creating misfires. I wish Uberti would change this system back to the system they had prior to this. Because prior to the system that they have, they used to have two grooves in their pin for retaining the cylinder. That you'd push back to into the second groove, it would keep the hammer from hitting any primers as a safety. Thus, the weapon would fire more readily and be more reliable. Now I'm going to move the angle of the camera. Uh, there we go. Hey, now you can see me. Because now I'm going to show the targets. The high point with my shooting, which is extremely rusty, is a fairly accurate weapon. I've got a flyer over here, one way down here, and way over here. That was me. The Star BM. I have a flyer way over in this corner again. That is me. And you notice I nicked the target over here. I'll get a little closer to the camera. That's a flyer caused by me. So, would I recommend the Star BM or the High Point over each other? Hmm. I wouldn't say over each other. It just depends on how well and how many times you get to practice. So far I'm liking both slide action pistols. With the Uberti, I have two flyers way up here in the top. I'm glad I didn't hit the clip, which was here, to hold the target. This is at 25 yards. I've got a pretty good hole right here. I don't know if quite a few of them went through that or not. But I've got two other holes here. 
One down here a little lower and one here lower. I was having quite a bit of trouble with that floating firing pin. So I may have missed more than I wanted to at 25 yards. Would I stand there at 25 yards with somebody shooting a U-Birdie? No. Because <laughs> somewhere along the line, I'd end up with a hole in me. That's why I always put targets out instead. I'd rather put a hole on a piece of paper than anything else. Unless, of course, I'm out deer hunting. I'm going to move this camera up just a little bit more. And if at all possible, one of these days, I will go deer hunting once again. I have not been deer hunting since we moved from Oregon. And that's almost five years now. I don't get to go out and do the target practice that I used to do. And it shows with my shooting. I'm not going to say I'm an expert. I'm just your average person that planks. So, yeah. If I had my choice between the high point and the star as a carry weapon because the star is a little thinner this direction than the high point which you can see and by the way they're both empty no magazines no round in the chamber. The Uberti is also empty. I'm going to have to angle that a little bit. And no, I'm not pointing it at myself. I never did like looking down the barrel of them. It is empty. Now the panic attackers, the wet diaper crowd, can sit back and go, oh my, they were empty. <laughs> but <sighs> if I were to carry one right now, it would be the Star BM just because of the thickness. If you birdie fixed their floating firing pin, this would be another good one. Even though five rounds. And that's exactly what I was shooting in each cylinder load at the gun range. Because this firing pin on a real cold would protrude. This Uberti with the floating firing pin it's good for target practice. I wouldn't use it for self-defense. Because the floating firing pin on the Cattleman 2 is that unreliable. I'd take the high point over the U-Birdie because it's more reliable. Anyway, thank you for watching, and if I can find a way to fix that floating firing pin myself, I'm going to do it.
because if I have a firearm, I want to be able to rely on it. Thank you for watching.